All right, back in our studio kitchen where we're celebrating National Dairy Month along with our good friend, registered dietitian Elizabeth Hall. Always fun to have you back. I know, great to see it's everyone. Like a reunion. Yes. <laughs> and of course, you made that smoothie, which as a busy mom, smoothies are my best friend. I'm always frozen fruit. You know, if you have leftover fruit, don't throw it away, throw it in the freezer. Exactly, that's a great tip. I know, you know, with just starting solids with my daughter, you know, it's always hit or miss if she's gonna eat the fresh fruit. Right. And I hate throwing it away, so yeah, my freezer is my friend, for sure. Keep it in that baggie, throw it in that yes. smoothie. And you said too, you can add a lot of things. You can hide things in oh, smoothies. Oh, definitely. And I brought several of my favorite mix-ins, you know, like oats or flax seeds, chia seeds, peanut butter, you know, other vegetables, like I you know I added spinach to that, but even even carrots and other things like that. Great ways to add some flavor, but also nutrition. I even have an avocado down there. It adds some oh. creaminess, some healthy fats. So lots of different ways to kind of amp up your smoothie game. Yeah, plus if you tell one of your children that you're putting some avocado in, yeah. usually they're gonna, mm, yes. so just But they'll never know, yes. they'll never know. And <laughs> I always feel bad for people who are lactose intolerant, but I don't have to anymore, because there's don't so have many to. different products. Oh, there's, th there totally are. You know, lactose is that sugar found in milk, right? So people who have an intolerance, they don't have that enzyme lactase that you know helps them break down that sugar so it can lead to some GI yes. distress and things like that no fun but we want to make sure they're getting all of the benefits of milk right so there's lots of different lactose free options that you can find in the store so from chocolate milk options to regular milk options a lot of times these individuals have no problem with yogurt because the live and active cultures found in yogurt kind of help you to digest that sugar okay. and so lots of options you can still get that calcium the vitamin D the protein we talked about and those other electrolytes. Nice. Yes. And then you're making one of my favorites. We're making like an iced coffee, which I think yes. if you make these at home, you're so much better off because oh, you yeah. can control the amount of sugar yes, the added that can sugar. sometimes be added in those coffee drinks. Yes, the added sugar can get a little too much if you're buying that out. So, and this is a great thing. I'm not even adding any sugar. I just have the sugar that's in the milk, the chocolate milk. So there is a little bit of added sugar in chocolate milk, but again, you're getting all of the balance of the different nutrients found in there. So this is an almond mocha iced latte. I know oh we, sound, we sound so fancy. Yeah, we do. Um, so I just have a cup of ice here and this is so, so easy. I have chocolate milk that I'm pouring in, a little bit of leftover coffee. Okay. I just saved this from my coffee maker this morning. I do too. Yes. It's so good ice. You Adding that in. So good. And then a little bit of almond extract if you have that at home to give it that almond flavor. Just a little bit. You don't want too much. And there you have it. So, so easy. Stop. Refreshing. Yes. And you're using your leftover coffee too. I know. I don't want to waste that either. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to try that. Chocolate yes. milk in your... So, you know, I'm a so huge easy. fan of chocolate milk. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh my goodness, especially like growing up and then I would always say I'm buying it for the kids, but I would drink more than the kids do. I yes. just think it's like a, it's just such a treat. And it's, now that you gave me permission, yeah. now after I have my little workout, which doesn't happen very often, yes. but if I know there's chocolate milk at the end. And you know, chocolate milk is one, like when I get up in the morning, I'm not super hungry, but I know I need to eat something, yeah. right? So I'll just have a little swig of chocolate milk. It settles my stomach, allows me to, you know, eat my breakfast later on. Um, so that's another tip if you want to try that. I know it's hard to eat within 30 minutes to an hour of waking up for me anyway. Yes. So that's a way to kind of jumpstart your metabolism. I have lots of other options down there, ways to pair, pair dairy like cottage cheese. I have some Gouda cheese down there, goat cheese with your whole grains like bagels and breads. So lots of different ways to make sure you're getting all of those nutrients in this summer. All right, yeah. and we're supporting our dairy farms. Which yes. We have a lot of dairy farms in we our do, area. We do, and so. that's a great thing, supporting them for the nutritious beverage that they you know, create, this milk. I love milk. Me too. I'm, <laughs> I'm a big fan. All right, for more information, more recipes, along with the smoothies and the iced coffee that she taught us to make, you can go to thedairyalliance.com. Elizabeth, don't be a stranger. Come see us again. Oh, I will, for sure. Good to see you.